Hey guys, what's the cheapest way to get you to 3D printing? Head to your local library, if you're lucky to have 3D printer there, pay someone else to 3D print your design, or buy your own 3D printer. I tried all three options, and today I will break down cost, time, and hustle for each. By the end of this video, you will understand what works best for you. So guys, we have three ways. Library, paying to someone, or invest into 3D printer. And we have three criteria. It's uh, cost, time, and convenience. Let's start with cost. Uh, we will have cost for filament, cost for service, and other might be delivery or public transport cost. So let's set the reference. Uh, from my experience designing SDU 3000, I already did four revisions and I probably will need one or two more. Let's say you need five revisions to finalize your design and price for filament, uh, in my case, it's around $6. So let's start with the library. In my situation, I would need to go to the library five times to do five revisions and I need to spend uh, money on filament. To go to transportation, we will have $40 and for filament, we will have $30. So in total, we have $70 and plus small fee if it applies, but in my case, not. So let's say $70 in total. In case of paying to someone, because I was able to find someone who lives close by, I only pay him $20, if I'm not mistaken, for one revision. So it would take me five revisions. So in total, it's $100. It's actually pretty a lot. What about owning 3D printer? So I bought Bamboo Lab A1 Mini multicolor printing option. But if you wanted to print only in one color, it will cost you 200 US dollars plus tax, plus delivery and some accessories. So let's say in total 300 US dollars. And all of these prices will be in US dollars for convenience. And filament wise, you also will probably pay five to six dollars per one revision. Uh, six dollars per five revisions is thirty dollars. So in general, to finalize your design, you need to spend three hundred thirty dollars for owning your three D printer. It's pretty a lot, but if you will be designing few products, it probably better to have your own three D printer. So uh, regarding time for library, from my experience. It usually take me three hours for commute, for setting up 3D print and for picking up this 3D print and having five revisions. In total, I would spend 15 hours. It's actually pretty a lot when I will be going to library. In case of paying to someone, in my scenario, I was able to invite someone close. So I spend only maybe five minutes and maybe a few more minutes for chatting. So in total, it's maybe one hour if I would do five revisions. And owning 3D printer, you probably will spend from 10 to 30 minutes. Why so much? It's because it's likely you will have some bad first layer and you need to reset your print. So let's say two hours. So regarding convenience, 3D printing with library is pretty easy. They can take care of 3D printer. They can set 3D print for you. But there's one uh, problem that time that you need to wait before your booking, because usually you need to book in advance to be able to go there and print something. Paying to someone, you don't care about 3D printer, you don't care about setting 3D print, and you basically not care about anything at all. And there is also same issue that people not always able to print your design right away, and you maybe need to wait for two, three days Owning 3D printer is pretty convenient because you can print right away. You can print small portion of your design and you can test different options. But there is a big problem and you may already understand what I mean by that. You need to take care of your 3D printer and you also need to set everything by yourself. And sometimes it takes time before you will figure out the best solution for your 3D print. And yeah, so that's basically it. So what the cheapest way to get into 3D printing? It depends. If you're a beginner, you're not sure if you want to uh, dive deeper and you want to try only once, you have one product on mine, I think the best way is to go to the library, meet new people, it will be cheaper 
you can ask it questions, you can see how it looks like, you can even set a 3D printer by yourself and I think it will give you idea how it will be in the future if you would like to buy it. And if you design your own product, you know that you will be designing only one, maybe two products and you want to hustle three options. So in this situation, hiring someone else is the best way and probably cheapest way as well. And if you know that you want to play with 3D printer, you know that you want to discover more or you will be designing a lot of products, you need to be able to print something right away. I think buying your own 3D printer, even cheap one, even small one as Bamboo Lab A1 Mini, the best option. And on top of that, I would actually even recommend you to go to the library, not for 3D printing, but to meet the people, to ask questions if you have, and to find new friends or learn something new. So that's it. Thank you for watching. If you want to know more about what I'm doing here, you can click this video. Otherwise, see you later. Bye bye.